What's good sports gamers and today I'll be going over with you a few moves you must know and when to do them to improve your triple threat game instantly in NBA 2K20. So let's get it. First off we'll start with the side jab. To perform a side jab you flick the right stick to the left or right on your controller. You perform a jab to see how the defender reacts and then you play off of it. If he doesn't move you can drive. If you jab and he backs up you got a jumper opportunity. With the side jab, I like to pair sometimes with a pick and roll because he's jabbing sideways so if the defender doesn't move, you can add another thing for them to worry about and move around the pick. And if the defender backs up again, you got the shot. Or if he slams into the screen by flicking the left stick up into the opposite direction of where you are jabbing, you got a nice crossover animation. Here with Westbrook, I perform a quick side jab and notice he doesn't react so in one quick motion while he's leaning forward. You push the left stick up into the jab side, which is up into the right, and Westbrook pushes through and blows by him. Here I add a pick and roll to the mix. The defender doesn't react to the jab, so again, I explode out of it, aiming the left stick to the left to go around the screen first and then drive. Now here I change up the timing of it, give him a side jab, he reacts, so I bring it back. And then once he comes back in, I do it again, and he isn't as quick this time to react, and I end up going right by him. You're playing off of what the defender does. You never want to guess. Now, like I mentioned a bit earlier, if they try to play the side jab, you got a crossover option. See the defender's reacting to the jab, so the second time I do the side jab, I aim the left stick up and to the left to cross back over the other way to drive. This is a lovely counter to go with the side jab drive. And here's Harden doing it as well. Now for the full step over. You aim the right stick in the opposite direction of the side jab. So if you activate your side jab by flicking the right stick right, you aim it left to perform a step over and vice versa. Now the full step over's calling card is the threat of a drive in the direction the ball handler ends up facing. Once he moves his foot in front of the defender, you have the option of driving off of it by aiming the left stick up and to the side you're leaning, or again cross over back the other way by aiming up and to the opposite side. Here I am using the screen and the step over to get myself around it with the left stick. And here performing a crossover the other way off of the step over getting free from the defenders. Next the side hesitation. Much like the jab you play off what your opponent is doing. If they're not reacting to it you eat up the space and drive. And if they do react by either trying to cut you off or backing up you have the shot or the crossover the other way by aiming the left stick up into the opposite side the ball is in. Now to do the side hesitation, you hold the right trigger and aim your right stick to the left or right. You can catch user defenders off guard with how fast you transition from the triple threat into this. And lastly, to perform a step back, you hold the right trigger and aim the right stick down. You do this when the defender is all in your face. This allows you to step back from the defense and create room for yourself to beat them off the dribble. Sorry sports gamers, hope this video was able to help you out. And if you want more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all.